Okay, welcome back to this final part of the EBWELL EBW01 blood glucose meter product demonstration. I hope you've watched the first couple of parts of these videos demonstrating the complete setup of this meter. Only has to be done on the first time the meter is delivered. Uh, this meter has also been uh, coded with the 547 code chip in the, the, the last video, so it's got all the information on board ready to do a test. Now, what we're going to just do here is demonstrate the auto lancing device and how to prime that. So this is one of the lancets. To get it ready for testing you just twist it round and remove the plastic cover. You then have the sterile metal lancet protruding from the base. This is then fitted into the auto lancing device as such and then the meter is primed by pulling back on the stopper at the end and that is now locked in position. We can then put the cover back on. Now I've adjusted this to a lancing depth of 2.3 for demonstration purposes which should hopefully give us a, a good drop of blood. So I'm going to do a, an auto lance on myself now. It's a little cold in here so I'm hoping it's going to adequately get a blood sample for you. To trigger the lance device you just press the button here and now we have a lovely drop of blood ready for testing. So, let's take a test strip out. Here we have one of the Eberwell test strips. This inserts into the base of the meter, which will power up and show the temperature and the test batch code chip number. To run the test, you simply apply the blood sample until the meter beeps and then starts to count down. Takes about five seconds and there you have it, your first blood glucose test result, 5.4 millimoles per litre. Couldn't be simpler, couldn't be easier, couldn't be quicker. Very nice and easy to use. Now we're just going to show you to remove the test strip, the meter powers off instantaneously saving battery power and then to remove the lance from the lancing device if we just unscrew this push it into the cover the lance can be safely removed and disposed of we would recommend that you use a fresh lancet each time you do a test that reduces the chance of infection it also means the lance that you're using is lovely and sharp, so you're going to get less trauma, less soreness. That's particularly an issue if you're having to do multiple tests per day. But I hope that demonstrates just how nice and easy and simple this designer meter is to use for diabetics requiring regular blood testing.